In this final part, we're stepping away from editing and grading and just looking at how we deal with audio in the Fairlight panel. Something which is really cool that we've been able to do with this project is finish all of the audio in Fairlight. Now for the most part that's just balancing and you can do that in the timeline, but um, even though I made those rough adjustments when I'm doing the, uh, the visual edit, being able to jump into the Fairlight panel and have access to all of the mixing and effects that are in there and have it laid out like um, in a digital audio workstation so you can add things into effect sends rather than adding them onto the individual tracks just here or even the individual clips just here is kind of cool. It's a much more suitable way of working when you're working with audio and then you've got obviously access to the faders and that makes sense if you've come from that kind of background. For the most part it's just balancing off levels. We had the voiceover which has to balance with the um, background music and then I added in certain sound effects. We're trying to get across the idea of power of these two machines, Concord and the Aston Martin. So the noise that they make is particularly important and that's what I was doing within this panel, just adding in those little engine roars and the sound of Concord coming into land, that type of thing. A lot of the time this marries with what's happening visually on screen. So for example, the car will be traveling from left to right across screen. I will add a subtle pan from left to right on the sound of the car passing so that it helps to knit it in with what people are seeing. And then on the audio side, we've added a couple of vocal channel effects just here. So if we pull that out just there, you can see we've got a bit of compression, a bit of equalization. And then at the end on the master channel, we are just adding in the um, limiter. And also we did the multiband compressor on this because we have so many different elements and we need to level them out helps to pull everything together. Um, it's not something you have to think about too much if you're not into this uh, type of editing, looking at the audio. I come from that kind of background, so I really do like to get a little bit more involved and where I can add a bit of multiband compression in there because it really knits it all and tightens up all of the different uh, frequency bands that you're working with. Essentially, it's like an equalizer combined with a compressor and it focuses on certain frequency bands so you can control a little bit more what's happening at the low end compression versus the high end compression. So if you have big um, sounds that have a lot of those frequencies in, it's not gonna pull the entire audio level down and compress it. It's gonna compress those different zones, which can be really handy if you know what you're doing. So close all that down. The gist of it is that uh, working with Fairlight means that uh, we have access to all of this and when we work with the keyboard, we can shuttle through in that really satisfying way and just scrub backwards and forwards, make sure that we're cutting in the right places and hearing how that all marries up with the visuals which you got in the top right hand of frame there. So it's lovely to have that as the final finishing panel within Resolve. And from there, you just go to delivery, take it out to whatever codec you're going to be um, using. In this case, we took it out to ProRes, and then from there, we were compressing down for different uh, social platforms at different uh, rates of compression, but do the whole thing in ProRes, and then we can just encode the ProRes file. It speeds up the workflow. I think that the biggest takeaway is that uh, now we're able to cover the entire project within Resolve from the editing to the color correction to the audio mixing. It gives us tons of flexibility shooting Blackmagic RAW and then being able to interpret it all in post. And ultimately with this project, it needed to be at that level. We needed to be shooting RAW. We needed to be able to color correct it um, so that everything was perfectly balanced so that the car looks the same in each shot. We needed to be able to finesse the audio so that uh, everything is absolutely right in terms of the sound effects that we're using, the sound design, but also in terms of the voiceover and the music track. So it's conveying a very premium product and it's given us the tool set to do that in one place without having to round trip through lots of different programs, which is really powerful. And it's given us the ability to do all of that within one program rather than round tripping through several different programs, which is really powerful and helps to streamline our workflow. I hope that you found this series informative. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Of course, like, comment, subscribe. And if you do have anything that you'd like us to cover in a future series, just drop us a message.